You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Austin McBroom, you up to bat. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Focus on you in 2022. Focus on you in 2022, man. We back with another reaction, man. We already know what's going on with all the YouTube boxing and stuff like that. You know, I'm supposed to be coming up on the on the Misfits card. Shh, don't tell nobody. You know what I'm saying? KSI said it. So, but, shh, shh. but anyway, so I wanted to get into something kind of different. You know what I'm saying? When trash talk goes wrong in boxing, this is Austin McBroom versus Ann Essen Gill. I hope I said your name right. I don't know what to expect because I ain't follow that whole thing, but I do know what happened in the ring. But I ain't followed the whole thing when they was, you know, going back and forth and stuff like that. So I'm super interested into this. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. Do y'all really think Gibb is ready for me? Really think about it. Do y'all really think Gibb is ready? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. To be honest, he was just someone that's in my way. Um, I feel like I'm giving him the opportunity. I really wanted KSI, KSI to come back. Oh, he's gonna say. Everybody want KSI. Pause. You get what I'm saying? Everybody want to box KSI. That's the guy that people want to go, uh, Jake Paul and stuff like that. But KSI is like, people want to, they want KSI. Hey, man, Austin's helped put this together. He should win, that's what he's low-key saying. He should win because his fight. You know what, I'm not gonna give a prediction. All I know is gonna end quick. And I want everybody to witness July 30th. Tune in. You have no power at all. No Zero power. power at okay. all. Okay. Yeah. Remember, remember, you fight. You you went up against a guy that didn't throw maybe one or two punches the whole night. You were. I'm gonna you make were, you do the you same. You were fighting wow. a punching bag. I'm gonna make you do the same. Taylor was the I'm worst make you opponent. Do the same. And the you moment you step forward, you're gonna be walking into my okay, shots. I keep I'm gonna for the past destroy four you. As you walking in yeah, like a dummy, do it. And you getting hit by a punch. I'm That's excited. All, all it takes. Dead footwork. Please, bring, bring it on. Dead hand placement. Everything about bring you that stinks. Shit. Bring that shit. <laughs> Everything about Your you awkward stinks. Awkward fighting is is beautiful. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope you bring that same energy come September 10th. That's all I gotta say. And so I'm gonna prove to everybody: if you got money, if you want to lose money, mm. put it on Gib. That's all I gotta say. Oh, everybody out there, the the Damn. being a college athlete, all that. Oh, definitely. Like I, I don't no see what the hell they see in him. Right. I really no don't. No it's no gonna discipline. be easy work. September 10th is gonna be easy, easy fucking work. work. Excuse my language, but I'm telling you right now, he's not gonna last longer than Bryce. There's right. no Bryce. way. Mm. Bryce is way tougher than he is. If you want to come to the fight, go to Ticketmaster and uh, witness promote, you know, promote, me promote. put this kid to sleep. Fucking pressure this, pressure that. Yeah, I'm gonna just pin you, man. Yeah, you're gonna be right gonna here. Just like this. You're gonna be right here. 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 You're gonna be. Oh. Watch out. Oh. Watch out. Oh. Guys, 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 uh, but when it comes to skill set, it's just not there. Uh, he's nowhere on my level. Damn. Your ideal fight next. KSI. I'm going to say it time and time again. Everybody he fight. knows it. He wants that fight. It's going to happen. Again, I hope he comes to the fight to support his best friend, to see his best friend get embarrassed <laughs> um, so we can give people what they want. Um, a lot of these guys, man, I just feel like in this sport, when you start boxing, a lot of people can hit a cap. Um, and some guys just can't get better. And I believe KSI is one of those guys, along with Gibb. Um, I just don't think they have the skill set and athletic ability. Damn. Um, and even, you know, the drive. Uh, like I said, I've been. I can't say that about KSI. I don't know the Gibb guy. You know what I'm saying? Respect to him because he knocked this motherfucker out. But um, KSI, I seen him in there training with a broke hand or some shit. Broke wrist. Like, you talking about dedication? What the fuck? What, what is he looking at? Or am I tripping? Or he tripping? Anyway, let's just see. I've been an athlete my entire life. I know what it takes to work hard. My dedication is different. Um, I'm motivated. Yes, he has experience, but he's just not on my level. <laughs> um, he has an awkward style. He's unathletic. Damn. I felt, you used to play video games, right? I think he's played video games. Didn't do a push-up till I was 21. Uh, didn't do a push-up till I was 21. Until I was 21, man. Um, just, you know, the experience, yeah, but he hasn't fought nobody 
Um, but other than that, he's not on my level. He's was not. Taylor holding on the best boxer on the card. He's not quicker than I am. He's not more athletic than I am. No. He's not faster than I. He's not stronger than I am. So um, what are you gonna do when I'm, I? I'm all the above. What are you gonna do when I out, out outperform you? My output's more than yours. Mm. When you're gassing it, in it front of me. Oh. What are you going to do then? The pressure is not going to matter. It's not about whatsoever. the pressure. The athleticism. Yeah, that's all we've been training for for the past four months is his pressure. You're going to hope that I come in. Takes, when I'm not in there, him, you're going to walk into another shot. to run into a punch. That's all it takes. You're guys not skilled like him, like guys like him not skilled like end in a fast, quick knockout. Damn. And that's what's going to happen September 10th. You're not skilled like that. <laughs> you're going to find out. You're not skilled like that. He will not withstand my power. You really honestly think you have power? Bro, I honestly do. Yeah. You from, fought from the last fight? No, from the last fight. No, listen, listen. You know what I was trying fight? to do last fight? I don't think you have it. If I, I I'm honest, I don't think you can have it. I love that. you saying this because, like, after the fight, when someone gets knocked out, they get beat really bad. Mm. You know how that clip just keeps playing over and over and over again? That's what they're going to play I after think, the fight. I, I envision him, him walking into, into a, a punch. Shot. Yep, him walking into a punch. Uh, my power, he just, he's not going to take my power. I don't think he's as tough as Bryce. Bryce was. How much did Bryce weigh? Bryce was. Getting punched by 16 ounce gloves this time around. It's a pro fight with 10 ounce gloves. For anybody who knows, yeah. that's a big that's difference. That's the real deal. Um, and he comes in a lot crazier than Bryce did. Right? Bryce wasn't coming in. He was getting hit by all kind of shots. The fight is September 10th. Yeah. The next day, September 11. What is the headline regarding this fight? Gib got knocked out quick early by Austin <laughs> McBroom. That's the Yo, headline. he's talking cash I almost feel shit. Like it's not good enough for you just to beat Gibb, but you have to really make a statement. Oh, yeah, or, for sure. Are you kind of taking that mindset? 110%. I see an early stoppage here. Um, <laughs> I don't see him lasting longer than Bryce did. Bryce lasted three three rounds. Yo, this dude's so cocky. I want to say confident, but he just giving me, like, cocky vibes. Like, yo, boxing is real different. You got to respect everybody you go in there with. You know what I'm saying? You can't underestimate nobody. And he would just, let's just see the whole video. I don't see this going past three rounds. I got to do what I got to do September 10th, which is put on the show and get this W. And what comes with that is an embarrassment. And he just happens to be somebody that's going to get embarrassed that night, unfortunately. But we'll remain cool. Yeah, it's, he's not lasting longer than Bryce Hall. I'll say it here in front of everybody. He's not lasting longer than three rounds. I mean, he got to sell a fight, too. Um, I hope, like I said, I really hope he's serious because in this game, he gets seriously hurt. Him, he can't take a punch. We all know that. We saw what he did against Jake, and Jake was at his worst. So, Damn. we know what time it is, September 10th. 10-ounce gloves, a big difference in 16 ounces, and he's going to fill it right out the gate. But I've been an athlete my entire life. He knows it. He's been a gamer his whole life. He's never competed at the highest level. I've been doing it for years and years and years. I know what hard work and dedication is. And that's what I'm bringing to the table September 10th. And he'll see. Dude. You are so unathletic and so flat-footed, it's scary. Can't Good wait. luck. Can't wait for Good that luck. unathletic game you, to you ain't never you. face anybody as athletic I as I wait. am, as fast, as quick, and as strong. So we're going to see. It's going to be a quick fight. He's not getting past three rounds. I'm going to say it time and time again. And I'm going to give everybody a show what everybody's been waiting for. Saturday, You're real little. little. You looking real little. Real little. You little. You little. Hey, why you back up? You, you, hey, don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me, baby. Because you're going to feel it September 10th. You're going to feel it. Finally here. It's been a year. It's been a fucking year. And we here. Yup. It's been a year, baby. He running his mouth, yo. You see in your eyes? You see in your eyes? He running his yeah. mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never seen anybody like me. You ain't never seen nobody like me. Ain't never seen nobody like me. Never. You gonna see it though. 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 Time Saturday. Saturday. I hope you bring your fucking name. I hope you bring your fucking name. Again, again. Uh oh. You have no power yeah. at all. No power. Power. Flex, though. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit. Do y'all really think Gibb is ready for me? Really think about it. Do y'all really think Gibb is ready? Come on, man. Are so unathletic and so flat footed, it's scary. <laughs> oh, the uppercut! Ah! I 
I'm either stopping him early or he's getting knocked out. <laughs> Only two options. Boom. Oh, damn. He will not withstand my power. You really honestly He's, think you have power? Bro, I honestly do. Yeah. You from, fought from the last fight? No, from the last fight. From the last fight. Oh! Oh my god. Alright, that's when trash talk goes wrong in boxing. Like I said, bro. You gotta respect everybody you go in there with. Now I know he was trying, you know, trying to sell a fight and stuff like that. That's what they do. But Gib was chilling. Gib was like, you know, you know I'm serious. When they did the face off, and he was like, man, you little, you little. He was like, well, you know I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, you gotta respect your opponents, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's just what I think. You know what I'm saying? Especially in boxing, when one punch can just change everything, just like that, you can be out of here. And you seen it, even with this fight. When they was fighting, he knocked them, McBroom knocked them down in the first round, flexed on them and all that. Gib didn't give up though. That's hard. And that's something you can't measure. But yeah, y'all let me know, man, what y'all thought about that, man. What y'all think about when people be trash talking and then they can't back it up. When you go in there and put them gloves on, it's just you and somebody else in there. Ain't no running. You know what I'm saying? It's just man to man. But anyway, you already know what you gotta do, man. Drop your comment in the comments below. Also, hit that subscribe button. It's your boy, Laid Back. Self love and positivity. Till next time, Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey!